Okay, let's head over to the Mastercraft kitchen as Mark's got delicious Asian meatballs on the menu today. I'm excited about that, Mark. How are you? Great, I'm great. These are a fantastic recipe. These are really tasty. So everyone says meatballs. Everyone has sort of assumed Italian. This is an Asian twist on it. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. We've got soy in there, some really thick sweet soy, garlic, chili, all the usual suspects here. So first of all, we need to do some mise en place. So that just means chopping everything up. And then later on, the recipe becomes really easy and fast. So first of all, we need to chop the ginger. So a little tip for you at home to chop the ginger. We're just going to uh, just square it off. And then this is how you sort of peel it. So you might be looking at it now, a little bit wasteful, which sort of is if you throw it in the bin. But what you want to do is keep all these bits and bobs, keep them in the freezer. And when you get a nice stockpile, use it in a master stock. You know, and then you can poach chicken in there and you get this beautiful, uh, wonderful flavour from the uh, ginger. Right, and now you want to do some nice thin slices. So a really sharp knife. And then just want to pile these little thin slices on top of each other, okay? And then chop across and then into matchsticks, okay? So if we left it like this, this will be called the julienne. So you can do this with any vegetable you want. But now what we want to do is pop all the little matchsticks together and then cut across and we get a nice fine dice. Okay, so this is what's called a brumoise. So again, you know, you can do this with carrots, vegetables, you know, anything you want. So basically, I'm just going to chop all this. I'm going to crush the garlic, chop the chilies, chop the spring onions, and we'll come back a little bit later and mix it all together. Alternately, if you don't want to chop it all like this by hand and you haven't got a sharp knife, just use a grater. That's a top tip for you there. Right, right, right let's get started. Yeah, okay, cool, let's go. What are we doing? Right, so first of all, we're going to get the rice on because that's going to take the longest uh, to cook. Okay, so what are we so making again? Coconut cream. Yeah. Uh, so this is all for the rice. Yeah. So coconut cream, water, whack that on the heat, and then just a bit of rice. Okay, sweet. Pop that in, bring in. it to the boil, and we're just going to cook that. And some kaffir lime as well. So okay. just take that, give it a little tear, and pop it in, and that'll give you a wicked flavour. Nice, and would you take that out afterwards? Yeah, you don't want to eat that. Okay, sweet. And just, any particular just rice? flavour. Uh, just add some in rice. Okay, that's sweet. fine. Yep. Nice. Right, so now we're going to make our meatball mix. Ooh, so we've got yeah. pork, pork mince. Yeah, I, I, I got too excited about yeah. that, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, you can do that. <laughs> and chicken mince as well. Okay, nice. So sometimes, like with meatballs, um, you know, especially if you're using pork, just pork or beef, you mm -hmm. need to put um, eggs in there to bind it. But because we're using the chicken, it's uh, sort of minced quite fine. And it almost uh, sort of acts as a glue around the pork and all the other ingredients. So just mix them together? Yep, good mixing. Why, um, why are these two meats together? Oh, I, just, I mean, just something a little bit different. And, um, you know, it's just a bit lighter. It goes really well with the soy and all these sort of flavours. And it's nice to mix the, the chicken and the pork as well, because you still get it nice and meaty from the pork. Mm, yeah. And it sort of keeps it nice and soft as well for the chicken. OK, nice work. Right, so we just got a bit of uh, coriander stalks. So this is great, you know. So use the stalks in the mix, and then we'll save the leaves at the end, and we'll just sprinkle them over. Oh, nice thinking. We've got all this ginger here, which we cut up. Remember what that was called? Ginger. You remember, <laughs> what, you remember what the cut was called? <laughs> no, no, I don't know. I wasn't Brum, listening. Brumoise, so a fine dice. Ah, oh, OK, nice. Chilli's going in there as well, so seeds on, because I know you guys like it spicy. Oh, it's smelling and some great. garlic, garlic as well. So that all goes in, so nice and finely chopped. And then just a little bit of spring onion. Mm. Uh, and that'll give us a nice little texture through there. So I've not put all the ginger in there, so I've just reserved a little bit of ginger in the bowl. What for? And we're just going to make a little ginger dressing. Oh, yeah. And we're going to glaze the meatballs after when they cook. Oh, this is going to be incredible, because yeah. I can smell all that. And interesting about the, um, the stalks, too, you know, because sometimes you usually just throw out the stalks of your coriander, so no, this is a good way keep, to use them. Keep the stalks, definitely, um, because it's got a little di different flavour as well, because some people sort of find coriander leaves a bit soapy, Jesse. Right. <laughs> so he doesn't like that. But then if you put the stalks through, you know, you, you're still going to get a little coriander hit, but it's a little bit different. It's a little bit sort of more palatable. Oh, nice tip. Right. Jeez, this is tiring. <laughs> OK. So a li little bit of soy. So that's obviously going to give us a bit of saltiness. Um, so get all that mixed up. Yeah, I hear you. And, um... Oh, it's going everywhere. <laughs> Sorry. I'm trying to mix well. Yeah, well no, it's good. It's good. All right. And then you want to just take it out and just do some nice sort of golf ball size balls. OK, how do you prep your hands to do golf size balls? Because, I mean, you know, that, obviously you do need to put flour on them. No, you don't want to put any flour on there. You can put a little bit of oil on your hands. 
and then it won't stick. But if you just take a little bit and do it quite fast and don't, don't sort of fanny around with it, okay. it, it shouldn't stick to your hands. <laughs> yeah. So we'll check that after. Okay, cool. No, I want to I be shaping them, so uh, I'm keen to Oh, we need, we need to shape them now. Okay. Oh, now? Okay, <laughs> yeah. sweet. Well, we've got a little bit of, uh, of the sweet soy, so that's the really thick sweet soy in there, and the reserved or the remaining um, soy sauce. And then that's going in the reserved ginger, and that's just going to be a little, little, bit, little bit of a glaze after once we cook it. Now, you know what? The thing is with Asian cooking, Mark, I've realised is that once you've got the key ingredients, you can continue to just, you know, make different dishes all the time. Hey exactly. Guys. Yeah. Sorry, now just coming in the button to have a look what you're doing. Oh, it smells so good over here. I love Asian food. Yeah, right, keep so, going. So just take a little bit and just Asian sort of work. roll it around in your hands like that. Okay. okay. So nice, nice and balls. easy. Well, hang on, hang on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to give my hand. Oh, shall I wet them? You, you can wet them as well, but a little bit of oil sort of uh, works well. I'm not getting my hands dirty with these balls. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the size, the size good? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah or you can cool. make them a little bit bigger if you want. OK. And uh, another great tip as well, so do the same recipe, make the balls bigger, flatten them down, and then you can use them as little sliders, oh, like yeah. little burgers. You know, do a nice little crunchy Asian slaw, um, you know, something a little bit different. Does that mean to look like this over here? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's coming up to the bowl now, so you can turn that down, just simmer it until the rice is cooked. Okay, right, we'll continue good. rolling. We've been allowed to do this in the kitchen and, before. What and we're going to start cooking and then come back a little bit later and we'll finish the dish. Nice, and that uh, recipe really easy to find. Just go to the cafe.co.nz. Trust me, the smell coming from these is incredible. I, so I, just... I can't wait till it's finished. Don't you muck <laughs> it up, Mel. I think I just, I just turned it up. Well, right. even with Mike's help, I think that they are going to actually taste really, really good, even though I can't turn this down. I don't know which knob to push. I go back over to you in the Mastercraft kitchen. How are these meatballs looking this? I am starving. Oh, we, <laughs> you guys hungry? Yeah. We are nearly finished. Meatballs, so nice colour on both sides. Just give them a quick squeeze to make sure they're cooked, and then a little bit of the soy and ginger mix. Oh, yum. Pop that onto glaze, and a little tip, which is optional. Little knob of butter just makes it shine. Take it off the heat. Make sure they're all shiny. And then we've got a coconut rice. Yum! Which we've just put on the plate and stack these on. And we are ready. Oh my god. A little goodness. bit of the coriander. Smells incredible from here, so I can't wait to get it in my mouth. <gasps> okay. There you nice. go. Yum. Okay. Try that. I will. You can see the full recipe online at thecafe.co.nz. Oh, there you go. Here's some I prepared well earlier. <laughs> 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 oh, I can't eat them. Oh, that's beautiful. 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 Oh, that's beaut